Hello everyone. I have been using Condobo for last three years. In this video, I will share you my experience with Condobo during the time. And this is not a sponsored video. First of all, Condobo has a wide range of products and services, and I have used a few of them, including cloud VPS, storage service, and object storage. Let's talk about their plans and pricing. Comparing to other hosting providers, Condobo has the reasonable price for their products. But if you are purchasing their monthly plan, you have to pay a set of fee. And it's a one-time fee, but if you are purchasing a monthly plan, you have to pay a one-time set of fee. If you go for yearly plans, you can waive off that 100%. Considering other companies with higher price tag, the set of fee is not a big deal. We can still afford that even with a low budget. I am currently using five cloud VPS from Condobo and the price less than $7 a month. 8 GB RAM, 200 GB SSD and 4 virtual CPU core for $7. That's a very good deal for me. Once you order a server, it may take up to 30 minutes to deploy. You can use your credit card, PayPal or Strill to make a payment with Condobo. But if you forgot to pay an invoice on time, 20 euros as late fee. It happened to me once. I haven't checked my email and few of my invoices went overdue. And I contacted their support and requested for the late fee wave off. And thankfully, they wave off 50% of my late fee. In the beginning of the video, I said that I am using Condobo from last three years. And if I am not satisfied with their service and performance, obviously I might transfer my VPS to another provider. I won't say I haven't faced any issues. Actually, I had one. One of my server load was increasing without getting traffic. And I contacted their support and they said they will change the node. And after one hour, the issue fixed and they upgraded my server into another node. After that, I haven't faced any issue from Condobo till now. Let's run a ping test. When I run a ping test, it will send a request from my computer to the server and the server returned a response to my computer. So it's a two-way journey. I'm from India and the server in Germany. So when I run a ping test, it will send a request from India to Germany and the server response uh, from Germany to India. So it's take only 175 milliseconds. Moving to the next part, support. Let me tell you, the Condobo has a very good support team, uh, but the ways to getting support is little bit complicated. They don't have a live chat or ticketing system in their in their website and currently we can contact Condobo via email or, or phone number. Normally I contact them via email and I will get response within 20 or 30 minutes normally. I think they will add more options for support in the future. Let's talk about the pros and cons. So I have listed out the pros and cons. Let's talk about the pros. They have affordable pricing, good performance, good support team, and wide range of products and services, data centers in different countries, and we can get an API to manage the servers. So let's discuss about the cons. You have to pay a one-time set of fee for monthly plans. There is no live chat support. You can't customize the plans in the website and limited scaling options. These are the pros and cons I found in Condobo. As a web developer and blogger, I do like the services from Condobo and they provide a high quality hardware for affordable pricing. I do really recommend their service. The time of making this video, Condobo has an ongoing offer that you can that you can deploy service without set a fee. It's a limited fee to offer. If you are sign up immediately, you can get it. And I will give the link in the video description and the first comment the purchase service from Condobo. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.